to the next topic and in this topic we're going to talk about determining the course between two points per standard compass. Now when we talk about PSC that's going to involve transferring information from true to compass using TVMDC. So I've written down a sample problem here and it states what is the course per standard magnetic compass from Chesapeake Light to North Chesapeake Entrance Lighted Buoy, Whistle Buoy, NCA. And then it gives you four choices on the exam. Uh, the first thing I like to do is look at the answers. Uh, the units listed in the answers are all PSC, which means per standard compass. So that tells me right off the bat that I'm going to have to do a TVMDC at the end of this problem in order to get it in the correct units. So in this problem, you're either going to be given two geographic points like we have here or two latitude and longitudes that will be randomly selected. It may be somewhere here to here or here to here. Whatever they state, you're going to plot those points and you're going to use your parallel ruler to line them up and get the true. So in this case, the first thing that it states is, what is the course to steer from Chesapeake Light to the North Chesapeake Entrance Lighted Whistle Buoy NCA. So if you don't know where these aids are, it's always good to look in the light list. Uh, in the back section, it'll give you an index number. You turn to that index number and typically uh, it'll give you a latitude and longitude. If it doesn't, it's usually located in the vicinity of some other lights. So for this chart, the 12221, I'm going to look for Chesapeake Light. And I know that Chesapeake Light is located right here. Now when we look at Chesapeake Light, we know that it's a light symbol because it has a black dot with a magenta teardrop. Okay, It's not a buoy, it's a light. Okay, So the location of the light is where the black dot is. The other aid that they're asking about is the NCA buoy. NCA lighted, which has the magenta circle around it, and it says whistle. Okay, if you don't know where this is, make sure you look in the light list. So what we're going to do is use a parallel plotter. Now you may have a regular parallel ruler and that's fine too. The same thing is done. I'm going to keep this really simple and take it to the compass rows, but there's other uh, lectures where we'll show you how to use this without the compass rows and the same with the parallel. But because this one's pretty straightforward, I'm going to line up the two points. So I have the Chesapeake light and I have the lighted whistle buoy and I'm going to just put my parallel ruler up to those two nav aids. Okay, making sure I get it nice and even. Now some people like to use this black line that's indicated inside there just to make sure it's straight. That's fine too. So I'm going to line up these two nav aids and because it says from Chesapeake light to the buoy, I know that's in a northwesterly direction, so I've got to stay on the northwest side of the compass rows once I get there. Okay, so line it up nice and straight. Roll it up to the crosshair of the compass rows. Okay, and once I do that, I'm going to read it. I'll say it's right around 313 true. Okay, reading the outer ring 313 true. So what I'm going to do is take that information and I'm going to transfer it down to a PSC uh, because the answers are in PSC, per standard compass. So T, V, M, D, C, true, variation, magnetic north, deviation, compass. Put my arrow in because I'm going from true to compass. Add west, subtract east, error going down. 313 degrees true is what I got off of the chart when they're lined up. Okay. Now, in order to solve the rest, you're going to have to be given some sort of table. And in most of the problems that we do, we have some sort of uh, table provided by the Coast Guard or by our student workbook. And so we use the standard deviation table, and I just rewrote it a little bit bigger. And so we have the headings listed here with the corresponding deviation, the heading, the deviation, the heading, the deviation. So it's every 30 degrees we give a deviation. 
And then we show you that for these charts, for the 12221 Chesapeake Bay problems, the variation uh, for these extra problems is going to be nine west. Now, if you're doing something out of our student workbook, you would need to look and see what the, the variation is given and then use that. So for this problem here, I'm going to lay this down here. I'm going to go ahead and use nine west. Nine west. Nine degrees west is our variation. We're going to use a calculator so that we don't make any mistakes. Because I'm going down in the problem, we add west. 313 plus 9 gives us 322. 322 would be what the true direction is based on magnetic north. But we need per standard compass on the boat. Okay? We've got some error here caused by deviation, the magnetic properties on the boat. So we need to go ahead and get it down to compass. So I'm going to go back to my table and I'm going to look up 322. Okay. Now 322 falls between 000, uh, excuse me, 0 degrees deviation and 1.5 east deviation. Uh, right in the middle of 300 and 330 is 315. 315 would be about 0.75 east. I'm 7 degrees from 315 and I'm also 7 degrees from 330. I'm just going to take a look that this is a half a degree. I notice in my problem these are whole degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with a whole degree just to be consistent. So I'm going to interpret that the deviation for 322 is going to be 1 east. You could use the 1.5 and possibly get the right answer, but I'm going to go ahead and use the whole degree since the problem answers have whole degrees. So the deviation for 322 is one degree east. When I'm going down the problem, I follow the arrow with the same rule. 322, already in my calculator, minus one, gives us 321 degrees PSC, per standard compass. So when I look at my problem here, I would go ahead and choose uh, B, which is 321 PSC, which is the correct answer. Okay. If you don't fall in the correct answer, or let's say you fall in between these two, go ahead and reline up your two nav aids and make sure that you read it very detailed and correctly on the compass rows uh, to make sure that you get the correct true so that before you do the math, you're starting off with the right information. This is typically uh, one of the easier problems that you're going to do on a Coast Guard exam at CMTI. This is almost always on our plotting exam, so you want to make sure that you get this one straight. The only other variation to this type of problem would be if they give you a latitude and a longitude. In that case, you would use your compass to go ahead and plot those two points. And if the point was here and number two was here, you would do the same technique. You would take up your uh, parallel ruler. You would line up the two points. Okay, making sure that you're reading you know, this direction if that's what it says. Line up the two points, walk it down to the rows, read it off, and then apply it to uh, a TVMDC template if you needed to. So the, the only difference between the type of problem that I showed you is that it gave us two nav aids, which was Chesapeake Light and the North uh, Channel entrance buoy. Uh, but if it was two latitude and longitudes, you would plot those two and then line those up the exact same way. The most important fact about this type of problem is making sure that you put your information off of the chart in true and work it down to PSC. And the compass here also means per standard compass, the compass on your vessel. And so that's what we're looking for when we see PSC in the answers. We're looking for the C part of TVMDC. Okay, practice some of those out of your workbook and we'll come back to the next topic in the next lesson.